do something this morning to stay warm, Damon. Well, Walk, we run. <laughs> How about going to the equator? <laughs> or we could go to the equator. <laughs> that sounds like a good plan, yeah. yeah. Otherwise, you might want to skip your morning walk because it is so cold out there. Uh, yesterday, it was pretty chilly. Overall, we had high temperatures on the map anyway, ranging from 15 in Evanston to 50 in St. George, while uh, most of us only made it into the 30s. We didn't even make it above freezing in Salt Lake, where it was 32. Well, our average high temperature today is 54, and while we're going to be well shy of that, uh, we're going to be warming up several degrees higher than we did yesterday. So even though it feels like you're stepping into a freezer by this afternoon, it'll be pretty comfortable. Right now, though, it's 13 in Logan, 20 in Salt Lake City, uh, low 20s in Blanding, 12 currently in Cedar City. So another rough one for folks that are uh, working outside. But otherwise, we're drying out as that storm has pulled away and we've got fair skies across the state. Uh, high pressure is centered along the coast right now, but next day or two, it'll be building in over Utah, bringing uh, warm, dry weather. But by the end of the weekend, a fast moving storm is going to be brushing by to our north. It doesn't look like it'll bring much in the way of accumulating snow, even in the mountains, but uh, it will bring a little bit of wet weather to start out early next week. That ahead of that, though, uh, look Looking and feeling pretty nice, at least by the afternoon. It'll be sunny today, and later on we'll peak at 40 degrees in Salt Lake City. So that is a, a big improvement. In fact, a lot of readings will be running several degrees higher than they were yesterday afternoon. Uh, the thing is, in places like Park City, Evanston, and Logan, uh, you won't make it above freezing. Be in the mid-40s later on in Moab and in St. George, you'll make it all the way up near 60. Skies stay clear tonight. It gets cold again tomorrow morning, but we don't go into as much of a free fall. In fact, down to about 26 in Salt Lake and teens and 20s will be pretty common across most of the viewing area with the temperature in St. George dropping down to 31. And with that high pressure building, we've got that steady warm up into next week. In fact, by uh, next Tuesday and Wednesday, temperature in St. George will be climbing all the way into the low to mid 70s. And for northern Utah, it'll be sunny near 50 tomorrow, about as warm on Sunday. So as that that storm brushes by, whatever we get in the valleys will be rain, even though it might mix with snow late in the day. Get a little bit of a break on Monday, and then by Tuesday evening, another storm moves in that'll bring a little bit better chance of some valley rain and mountain snow.